Hi, thank you for joining me for this unboxing and overview of the new Hawkeye Firefly 8S 4K sports action camera supplied courtesy of Hawkeye who are renowned for the Firefly brand of cameras so this comes in this box looks very nice very solid good quality some of the features of the camera it's got Wi-Fi and you use an app uh, to connect with Wi-Fi and it has a range of 10 meters it also has Bluetooth and can be connected with an optional remote Bluetooth remote controller it also has 6-axis uh, gyro video stabilization it can also support an external microphone has a large 2 inch LCD screen and the waterproof casing is waterproof up to 20 meters so if we open this up and have a look we get the camera in its waterproof casing Okay, this is a silver one. Uh, you, it also comes in a black version. And if we take it out of the casing. This is what the camera looks like. So we've got our main uh, power button here in the front, the image sensor, the lens. This is the large 2 inch LCD screen. This is where an SD card goes in uh, with a capacity of up to 128 gigabytes. And it's recommended a minimum of class 10 and but there are certain cards that are recommended for it. And I will put the recommendations into the description. So this just goes in there and pops in like that then we have our USB port and we have an H HD port here's some holes for the microphone then we also have a screw port for camera mounting if we open up the battery bay here this has a 3.85 volt 1200 mAh battery which should be good for a recording time of just over one and a half hours that goes in there and slots back in there then on top here we've got our mode button to select modes and here we've got our little buttons to navigate through the menu then it comes with a lot of other accessories too we get the QR codes to uh, scan the apps clip brackets the USB uh, charging cable we get a uh, neck strap holder get a cleaning cloth thumb screw mounting bracket another thumb screw mounting bracket some adhesive tape and two more holding brackets we get the instruction manual a 
another mount another mount camera holding bracket another thumb mount or thumb screw mount some more adhesive pads and a little steel cable another thumb screw mount some Hawkeye Firefly stickers some zip ties or cable ties and some velcro straps and we also get a little selfie lens that goes on to the camera here for taking selfies the lens uh, acts as a mirror for taking selfies so let me just tidy up here quickly so the manual is you know, quite a good quality paper uh, not very big um, gives you the basics and on some of the critical things but really not that detailed uh, that w gives you some good illustrations also tells you how to connect your USB uh, TV out cable but there is also help online and I will put a link in the description uh, where you can see some additional help if you need it let's have a lo closer look at the camera if we turn it on we just press here see the blue light come on we see Firefly 8S and then we have the LCD screen here this is already set in video mode as you can see with the video camera there then it gives you all the resolution settings battery level indicator microphone on uh, date and time stamp and how much recording time you have on the SD card now if we turn it off again gotta hold it to turn it off okay. now turn it on and then give it another quick press and you'll see we can change between photo and video by pressing the main power button in the front so with the camera settings it will also tell you what the camera settings are and to go into the menu we press one of the navigation buttons here and then we can get into settings continue pressing the navigation button you can go into photos into burst into playback into time lapse into long exposure then to come out of this we press the button there if we want to go to video go there we press the navigation button again here and we also get the same thing here but we get settings videos time lapse playback car mode and slow motion so we go back to settings and we press the mode button here we get the video resolutions press ok there and these are all the resolutions so 4k at 25 fps 4k at 25 fps super view now the super view is designed mainly for aerial photography which is quite a unique and a good thing 2160 25 frames per second 2.7k 25 frames per second 2.7k 25 frames per second super view 2.7k 25 fps 2.550 fps 2.5 25 fps 1440 50 fps 1440 25 fps 1080p 100 fps 
1080p 50fps, 1080p 25fps, 1080p 50fps, SuperView, 1080p 25fps, SuperView, 960p 100fps, 960 50fps, 960 25fps, 720 200fps, 720 100fps, 720 50fps, 720 25fps, 720 100fps, and 720 25fps super view. Then we go back to the main one. So quite a menu and selection of, of, of resolutions to go out, we just press back there. We also navigate here, we can go to video quality, auto low light, gyro sensor on and off, motion detect, dual files, video stamp, time lapse video, loop record, microphone volume, sharpness, AWB, e V value, ISO, metering and back there. If we want to progress into further further ones we press this little arrow over here and then we go into further settings quick capture, delay off, TV mode, light frequency, OSD, LCD brightness, auto shutdown, screen off, status LED, beep, time setup, date format, language, Bluetooth pairing, Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi SSID, in other words the name of the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi password, formatting, default settings, and then it gives you the version. So, quite an extensive menu. And then if we want to record, we simply just press the button here and we can see a little red light flashes there and it begins to record. To stop the recording just press there. So that's a basic overview of the features. The lens has a 170 degree um, field of view. This comes with the Ambarella A12S75 chipset. Uh, the top level IMX117 image sensor has low illumination performance and if you have a cable in for video out or for FPV uh, it also auto detects that. Then this also comes with accessories. You can get a external microphone that you plug into the USB port to improve the um, quality of, of recording voice or sound. This is the little Bluetooth remote controller that comes with it that you can connect to and adjust the settings without having it which is quite handy you know if the camera is in a quadcopter gimbal for instance you can use the Wi-Fi app or you can use this blue uh, remote controller and also good for other functions. We won't go into detail now on how this works. Then this is a, the USB cable you can get um, for video out and also FPV on a quadcopter. You can also get a selfie stick and this is a selfie stick and extends out and if we have a look how this compares to the Firefly 7S side by side virtually the same height same width, same thickness and let's have a look how it compares weight wise okay, the Firefly 7S with the battery in is 64 grams 
and the Firefly 8 is comes in at 70 grams so 6 grams heavier than the Firefly 7S but I'll also be doing a lot of tests and comparisons including comparison with the Firefly 7S I'll also be doing a quadcopter flights with and without gimbals to see how that varies test the various resolutions and also some land based tests so please stay tuned if you'd like to see further reviews and tests of this I'm going to now just show you a short video clip that I took with this mounted on a Bugs 3 quadcopter without any suspension mounting it's just a plain stock hard uh, attachment with the camera in